Hi there. Welcome to spending quality time with your girl, Epocity Tom. Now let's get started. Today we're going to be talking about Friendship 101 and relationships with our friends. Yes, the most important relationship that we can keep with our friends is loyalty. Loyalty is a burning issue in the world of today. Like I always said, I have a lot of friends, so I have a good insight on friendship. Um, when it comes to loyalty, you know, we should realize that people come to us because they think we can be loyal to them. I have a lot of friends. I have friends from all walks of life, from different countries, from different cultures, and different backgrounds. So when it comes to loyalty, it crosses boundaries. And it don't matter where you're from, this is your issue that is burning in almost all friendships, regardless of where you're from. Loyalty. When we have our friends and they run to us with their deepest secrets and they come to us to tell us those issues, don't take it for granted. Know that it's serious because it takes a lot for somebody to say, you know what, I can't keep this anymore. I need to go to somebody that I can talk to. Somebody who is going to be able to help me and, you know, give me their honest opinion about what I'm going through. When your friends come to you with their issues, please, 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 don't judge, listen, and listen to them very well. Because a lot of times, people just need somebody that's gonna listen to them. It's not all the time that people come to us because they need our advice. Sometimes people are dying inside. They just need somebody that can listen. Offer self, listen to them and listen very well. And at the end of the conversation, you will know if they want your advice or they just need you to or they just wanted you to listen to them and if you realize that all they needed was for you to listen all you need to do or say is that i hope it gets better i hope time makes it better and you know that's all you can do but if they came for an advice please don't judge and try not to talk over them. We have that tendency of judging before we know the end of the story or trying to judge and say if it was me or I wouldn't have, you know, don't do that. They came to you for a reason. Listen to them and after everything that they've said, be honest. Don't tell them something because you just want to keep the friendship and you know that's what they want to hear. Tell them in honesty what you think because guess what? If you are honest with them and they get upset, you've done your part. And if you're honest with them and they don't take your advice, anything goes wrong, you can live with yourself and say, you know what, I told you what I thought you should have done, but you didn't do it so well. You have yourself to blame, you know. But when we talk about loyalty in friendship, you know, sometimes I included, I've made my mistakes in friendship and I'm hoping that I don't make more mistakes. In order to keep my friends, I need to learn. And what I'm saying is something I should also practice. Try to be loyal to our friends. You know, people have different kinds of friends and they, you should be able to place your friends in categories. It don't mean that because somebody is your BFF, so you have to run with your deepest secrets to them. No, your BFF might be somebody who talks a lot. So it's not everybody that you take your deepest secrets to. Your BFF might be somebody that you know you can have fun with them. They'll be there for you in times of hard times or when you need them to just give you support. But they might not be the person that you take your secrets to. They might be the ones that will run your story all over town. So you might want to say, you know what, even though that's my BFF, I'm going to tell this other friend because we might not be BFFs, but I know that they are very um, secretive. They're going to keep my story and they're going to give me their honest opinion. And when a friend comes to you and don't judge don't say oh well why did she go to the other friend there's a reason why they came to you and don't be that person that because you assume that you all are friends you take their story to the other friend because if they wanted the other friend to know they should have taken their story to the other friend so if they came to you it's because they know it's you that they need you know so we all have made those mistakes in the past and say well we all are friends so i didn't know it was any issue to tell them no keep their secrets and i know when we talk about loyalty we all think, oh, women. No, you have a lot of men that run their mouths too. And you have men that will take the story to their wives, not knowing that their wives will put it out there. You should know your wife. If your wife is the talking type, don't take people's stories and tell them. And if you know you're the one that when information comes in, it gets out, you want to be honest and say, I'm sorry that you're going through what you're going through, but I might not be the person that needs to uh, you know, listen to you right now. Maybe you should tell someone else because I don't want to say I can keep your secret and I don't want you to be upset with me. They might not like it, but they're going to respect you.
they're going to respect you enough that they're going to say, you know what, I'm going to keep her as a friend forever because she's honest. You know, when it comes to the whole loyalty thing about friendship, like I said, it's something that I know everybody must have tasted it in their lifetime. And if you haven't, you'll find out that loyalty is a very serious problem and we all need to work on it. And that's why I always say most of my segments are going to be done like twice or thrice because it's a conversation and i want people to go to my instagram facebook twitter or whatsapp and send me messages and see you know how they perceive the information what they want to add what they think we should add in our next show in terms of that topic so we can make it better because my whole reason for doing this was to help somebody was to be able to you know be there or pass information that somebody else can benefit i may have made mistakes that i don't want other people to make you know so we all can learn from each other's mistakes and that's why i need people to also give me their own real life stories and give me their own experiences so we can make bigger shows and better shows where people can take information and help them in their daily lives you know and um i'm gonna still emphasize on that whole thing of loyalty you know because a lot of people out there don't have money to go pay therapists or counselors or whatever. So they still go with the traditional method. And there are some things that are too small to go to a therapist. They still go with the, we all go with the method of, let me call a friend. Let me say, what do you think about this? What's your opinion? It's wrong. I know the world of today, we all are glued to our phones. But it's wrong to take your phone and call the next friend and say, guess what? Epoxy just called me and she was telling me this, she was telling me that. Don't do that. It's bad. Like I say, this is not a conversation that anybody's going to say, oh, not me. We all may have done it, and if you have not, maybe you're going to do it. Now we know. Loyalty. Let's be loyal to our friends. Let's keep our friends' information. Let's make our friends, our friends to be able to trust. Because guess what? You have people who have committed suicide because they couldn't trust nobody. They couldn't trust nobody. They had to, you know, keep all that inside to the point where the depression got up here. And all they could do was to say, you know what? It's not worth living. I'd rather just get out of here. And they go kill themselves. Meanwhile, you may have been able to help them. You may have been able to, you know, assist them so they don't have to, they don't have to kill themselves. They don't have to destroy their lives, you know, and just make their loved ones suffer just because they didn't have nobody to talk to. Sometimes you're going to say, oh, they should have gone to their family members. Some people trust their friends more than their family members. Some people, have, friends have been there for them more than their family members. So they consider their friends like family, you know. So if somebody comes to you, don't say, oh, well, why me? There's a reason. There's a reason they came to you. So just be there for them. You know, I'm getting emotional because this is a very emotional topic. Because, like I say, we need our friends. And loyalty is the only thing that can maintain our friendships. Well, like I always say, it was nice spending quality time with you all. Bye for now.